Hey all you podheads, it's your Prince of Dorkness, Starbuck, and today we're going to talk about Image Comics, we're going to talk about the new Geigerverse by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank, and we're going to do a little compare and contrast to the Spawn universe also at Image Comics. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. <laughs> Welcome back, Podheads. Today I want to talk about Image Comics and the new Geigerverse by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. Now, if you're not already reading this book, you absolutely should. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a giveaway. Maybe I'll do a, like a, a giveaway for the whole series that's been released so far at 100 subscribers or something. Um, but you really need to check this book out. It is a superhero book, contrary to what many people have argued. And it's incredible. Jeff Johns over at Image Comics, you know, I'm a, I'm a Jeff Johns fan. I've read the Green Lantern stuff, some of the Flash stuff, um, you know, Flashpoint, you name it. But Jeff Johns, <clears throat> one of the things that I like about his books is that they're generally pretty easy to follow. Um, there are certain writers out there that I find a chore to read, which is funny I use that word because I've, I've seen other videos that have described Geiger the same way, but I didn't feel that way. The thing that's so great about Geiger is the fact that we have now six issues released in the main Geiger storyline, and we have this <clears throat> recently released 80-page giant uh, that has a Geiger story in there but also tells uh, more about the supporting cast of the books. Um, what's important to note about this is that there's going to be several titles released within this shared universe. Uh, we've seen the Geiger run already. We have upcoming uh, a Redcoat series, which follows a character that was killed during the American Revolution in 1776 and becomes immortal. Um, we also have, I believe, an upcoming uh, Junkyard Joe uh, series coming up. Uh, that one's going to be based in 1976. But the thing that's really cool about this series of, of the Geiger verses, I call it, is that here on Image Comics, you know, we've been waiting, what, 20, 30 years for McFarlane to create his shared universe. And re we recently got that with the Spawn universe. We got the um, Scorched, we got King Spawn, we have the ongoing Al Simmons Spawn series, of course, uh, and we also have Gunslinger Spawn, which if you're not reading, you absolutely should be. But it feels different. It took 20, 30 years to develop enough background with Spawn for Image to be able to really do this shared universe, I feel like. Jeff Johns did it in about seven issues. This series feels fleshed out. It feels like you know the world and you can see, like, the, the introduction of our character Geiger, who is really just... I mean, it's the old-fashioned superhero story. You have a tragic origin and a story that follows some really kind of downtrodden beats. Uh, there's a lot of emotion in this book. There's a lot of horror in this book as far as, you know, I mean, it's not like reading an old Garth Ennis book like uh, Just a Pilgrim. Uh, it's not like... Uh, Garth Ennis is just a pilgrim. Uh, it's not that dark, but it definitely has those beats. Uh, the, the world that it's based in, at least in the Geiger series, we're stuck around Las Vegas after the fallout. So it's 30 years after. Each casino is run basically by a mob boss or, or like a king or a lord. And each of the casinos is kind of their own little city. Um, they are not always at peace with each other. But again this story is kind of being told around a campfire. Like, it's a, it's literally two men telling the story about the glowing man, which adds a, a fantastic element of mythology to the series, and especially since Johns is doing a timeline that spans 300 years, effectively, for these characters, I could see a really rich 
tapestry being spun of characters that all exist within the same universe. Um, and again, you know, I, I don't mean to compare and contrast too much, but realistically, I love the new Spawn universe. I think King Spawn is great. I think Gunslinger is the best of all of the books. And Scorched One was good. I'm still waiting on the second one because currently my comics are being delivered monthly rather than weekly, but that'll change, I think, next week or the week after. Um, but let me just say, again, if you're not reading Geiger, you absolutely should be. There is so much depth in these shorts, like even in the 80 page giant that came out recently, uh, this book has, uh, a lot of smaller storylines that describe a little bit about, um, the supporting cast. You get the, the secret origin of Barney, which is of course Geiger's two headed dog. Um, we have, uh, a Safari Bob, uh, story in here, Goldbeard story, um, Continued Tales of the Unknown War, which is the war that happened in 2030. The bombs dropped and created Geiger. All in all, none of these stories are particularly strong on their own. Uh, but taken as a whole, this is a shared universe that rivals that of the big companies. And I really hope that Todd McFarlane takes note of the beats that Jeff Johns is hitting with this book, because this, this is how you do a shared universe. This makes me not only interested in, and invested in the main character, but it also makes me so intrigued for the secondary and backup characters. I want to know more about Redcoat. I want to know more about Goldbeard. I want to know more, I, I want to know more about Barney. Uh, so definitely, I'll continue reading the Spawn universe, of course, but if it comes down to it and you're looking for a shared universe style story or series of stories at Image Comics, look no further than Geiger. This is the way to go. I hope you guys liked my video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, uh, ring the bell for notifications when I post new videos, and uh, as Starbuck always says, never play leapfrog with a unicorn.